welcome to Your City, Your News, where we inform you about issues and topics happening in the city of El Segundo. I'm Jennifer Murillo. At the September 20th City Council meeting, the council discussed the consideration and possible action regarding the introduction and first reading of an ordinance amending the downtown specific plan. The council voted 4 to 1 to approve the amendment for the tinting or reflective glass on storefront windows, signs for non-street front uses, and design. They also directed staff that the provisions to the museum ordinance be brought back at the next meeting. During the presentation of the fiscal year preliminary budget, the council voted 5-0 to zero to hold a special meeting on September 28th for the adoption of the proposed budget. To watch this meeting or others, go on to YouTube and search for El Segundo TV. The El Segundo City Council is considering whether to scale back designs for a state-of-the-art aquatic center at the future Weisburn High School or move forward with the plans. The construction on a 10-lane competition outdoor swimming pool and an adjacent four-lane teaching pool that will be shared by the city and Weisburn Unified School District was scheduled to begin by the end of the year. Since city council members recently learned price estimates have increased from $10.6 million in 2015, to $14.5 million, they want reassurance that the facility will make money. The panel will decide whether to sign off on the plans or go back to the drawing board at a special meeting on September 29th at 1 p.m. where updated financial projects will be presented. The sewer main improvements project has begun. Public Works is involved in the removal and replacement of sewer main lines at Illinois Street, Indiana Street, Pine Avenue, and Mariposa Avenue. Preparation began on September 19th, and construction is scheduled to start on September 26th. For more information, log on to the city website under Latest News or contact Senior Civil Engineer Orlando Rodriguez at 310-524-2252. Los Angeles Airport officials are soliciting public comment on an environmental review of the five billion moderation project. The Landside Access Modernization Program is intended to reduce congestion, redistribute traffic, and improve access to what is the world's seventh busiest airport. The project covers 794 acres in and around LAX, and it is expected to be completed by 2024. The document is available at ConnectingLAX.com. Two community workshops are also scheduled for people to come in in person. One of the workshops will be held on Wednesday, October 19th, from 6 to 8.30 p.m. at the Flight Path Learning Center and Museum, located at 6661 West Imperial Highway. The deadline for public comment is October 31st. The El Segundo School Board discusses alignment of board election cycles with statewide election dates. The Board of Education is considering measures to move board elections to even-year election cycles. This is in hopes to reduce election costs to the El Segundo Unified School District increase voter participation in board elections, and comply with the new legislation requiring the alignment of board elections with the statewide elections by November 2022. The resolution will be brought as an action item to the September 27th board meeting. To view the resolution, go to elsegundousd.net. The City of El Segundo invites you and your family to get prepared in case of an emergency. The Disaster Preparedness Fair will have activities and services for the entire family. Come learn about the Community Emergency Response Team, first aid, fire and emergency equipment demonstrations, learn how to shut off your utilities in an emergency, and much more. The fair will take place on Saturday, October 15th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the City Hall Plaza. Well, that's all for today. Remember, you can also keep up with us on Facebook and on YouTube by searching El Segundo TV. Thanks for watching Your City, Your News. I'm Jennifer Murillo. We'll see you next time.